virtual reality and connected home, just three of the themes we're seeing at this kickoff event to CES, one of the largest electronic shows in the world. This is the new Parrot Disco drone, and it's unlike a lot of conventional uh, consumer drones in that it doesn't hover like a helicopter, it flies like an airplane. This isn't just kind of filming you from above like a traditional drone, it's really letting you sort of experience flight the way that you dreamed of as a kid, like Superman. You can guide it via Wi-Fi from an external controller and watch as you fly through the camera. And you can also take HD video from the front-facing camera and play it back later. So FAA regulations around drones are kind of changing by by the day and the latest ones really mandate that you have to register your drone. That just means that when this launches sometime later this year, you're really gonna have to pay attention to what the regulations are and you're definitely gonna have to register the drone as well. Virtual reality is huge at CES this year and one of the big issues is how you move around in a virtual reality world. Most gaming devices operate with a controller. This is an accessory from 3D Rudder. It lets you move about using your feet while you're wearing your goggles. This technology lets you immerse yourself a little bit deeper by applying pressure forward, you move forward, backwards, you move backwards, you can do side to side, and by pushing your foot forward and one foot backward, you actually get to fly. It has the potential to change the way you experience virtual reality. So the Connected Home is a big deal at CES this year. A lot of companies are getting into it. Basically, the Connected Home concept is that you can control your house through your smartphone. One of the companies that's getting into it is First Alert. The new one link line adds a thermostat and a baby monitor. Now these all work on the Apple HomeKit system, which means it works through your iPhone. There are other ecosystems out there. There's one from Google, Samsung has its own, Lowe's has its own. But we really want to see in the next couple of years which of these survive. There's a lot of competition. And back in our lab, we'll want to see how the devices work. And we'll also want to look at privacy and security concerns because with the connected home, that's something that we all have to think about. For our full coverage of CES, join us on social media and YouTube, as well as at consumerreports.org.